we're live. <laughs> <laughs> live with Kathy and Sarah. Yeah. Egregious and Kathy Lee. Yeah, except now it's neither of them. I know. Because uh, what's his name just left too? Ryan Seacrest. He just left the show, so now it's going to be Kelly and her husband. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I liked when it was Kathy Lee. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> okay. we're, we're sick we're, from a school show. Yeah. That and Maury. <laughs> I see a few people have hopped on already, which is good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do turn this the right way again. So now this is going to be wrong. Yeah. Just, Maybe there we go. That'll be better. Yeah. Spin it? Just, no, I don't think I can spin it, can I? Yeah. Hi, everybody. We're just doing some technical things at the last second here. <laughs> you can move it. Can I turn that around? Yeah. Will it be the wrong way, though? No, but try sliding it. No, I'm upside down now. Oh, don't do yeah, <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Sorry, we're playing with my 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 mic on my phone, trying to get you know better sound quality. Hopefully, you guys can hear us. So I'll talk really loud. Yeah, <laughs> there, move that out of the way. Hi, everybody. I'm actually here to this week. Okay. Hello, Donna from Ontario. I bet you were colder today. No, you guys were pretty cold there this week, weren't you? But it is. Flipping cold here. I got to go the right she, way. Judy has us on her big screen. She can see my pores. Oh, my <laughs> God. So you can see all my bags and my, you know, 14 chins. Hi, Mary from Costa Rica. We're good. We're very busy. It, it has been insanely busy in here all week. A and good problem. Yes. And thank you, everybody, for your very generous orders. Um, they have been much appreciated. Uh, I can pay my rent this month. <laughs> <laughs> which is you my rent. my mortgage because apparently the grumpy old man that's sitting up there he wants me to pay rent so that would be my husband <laughs> uh flipping cold by lake ontario yeah i just i i had this little caramel cookie with that i just ate after lunch and i walked from our house just down to the warehouse here and it's about a 30 second walk it is so bitingly cold and windy here that by the time I got down here, my cookie actually had frozen. And Is it waffle? Yeah. And it went like hard as a rock and snapped. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Have you tried it in the microwave yet? Yeah. Did it change it, right? Yeah. I gave it to Farron like that the other day too. So we've been eating these waffle cookies. Has anybody ever had those? I'd never had one before, but when we went to Tucson, uh, they give them to you as your little... Um, cookie or you know your little snack on the plane and it was either that or some other kind of cookie but most of the planes only had the stroop waffles and I'd never had one and they're a little Dutch wafery cookie on either side really thin with this yummy caramel and like that is my jam and they're not that sweet like I thought they'd be sickly sweet I find not. them very sweet but I like them oh I love them anyway hi it's Kelly and, here and, and Savannah from Kelly's Bee Boutique we we never introduce ourselves and we always should it's 80 and 40. oh Jacqueline wow, you, wow. you can leave <laughs> <laughs> it was snowing today or at least package that up and send it yeah. here we need a little bit of uh warmth it is just awful so anyway all right so I had nothing planned for today like zero zilch nada and now all of a sudden we've got like an action-packed all kinds of stuff show. So lots of things to talk about. Hey, Becky, how you doing? Okay, so first things first, my husband is doing better. So I thought I better update you on a couple things because I get tons and tons of comments and emails and uh, notes about how's Rob doing. Um, he's doing much better. He got his surgery like about uh, 10, 11 days ago, I guess. And um, it was hell trying to get through that to get to the surgery because he had to sit in the hospital for so long. So that was not good. Um, but he's doing better and um, he can't um, bend his knee or move his leg really for like six to eight weeks. So guess who is doing everything for him? <laughs> not her. <laughs> me. He did message me and I booked it up there and he needed me to pass him a piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he fell. She I was so a scared. Heart attack. So it's kind of, it kind of sucks that I can't really leave or do anything at all, um, which really kind of stinks because I still have not been able to get down to the States to pick up my Tucson shipment. <laughs> so eventually you guys will see what I picked up in Tucson, but just not yet. Um, so um, uh, speaking of that, if there is anybody watching right now, that either works for UP USPS or knows somebody in maybe like a supervisor in USPS 
or is married to somebody that has some clout with USPS. Any connection. Any connection that will actually get me somewhere. Could somebody please help me? Um, I sent eight packages. And when I uh, was at the post office in Tucson, I asked him to to add five hundred dollars um, insurance because it's better than nothing. I mean, there's like you know twenty five hundred dollars or five thousand dollars in each box. But anyway, so he insured seven of them and not the eighth one. And the eighth one has gone missing, and nobody either will or can find it. And it is like literally talking to the back end of an elephant. It is horrifyingly painful trying to get through to anybody at USPS. Nobody ever helps me. And so I'm throwing out a, um, a Hail Mary. If anybody has any connection and can help me at all try to locate that package, we will send you some free stuff as a thank you because there's a lot of money in that box. Um, I'm, I'm not upset about it because I can't be because I have much larger fish to fry these days. Um, but I'm frustrated because it's a lot of energy that goes into finding that stuff, or, you know, all the goodies and uh, to have it go missing. And then I won't even get any insurance for it is exasperating. And, uh, you know, so that's life lately. There's uh, I literally had a sign on me that said I feel like I've had a sign that says kick me because I have had no time to get down to the U.S. to pick up my stuff. And so Friday I got Rob all all geared up and I sort of got his lunch ready. And then I said, okay, I'm going to whip down there and get it. Cause I had like a couple hours. <laughs> I get all the way to the border and realized I don't use a, um, uh, what do you call it? A passport to get through. I use the Nexus card. And because I had traveled home from Tucson, my Nexus card was in my passport at home. So I made it all the way to the border, which is an hour away. And I didn't have my Nexus card. So I had to turn around and come back. I mean, don't they see you enough that they could just like let you through? They might have, but it depends on who's at the border, right? So a lot of the U.S. guys are new and they don't all know oh. me. I wouldn't have had any problem getting home. But uh, anyway, so uh, there's been a lot going on lately. And then I had to go to the doctor last week because my knees have been really bothering me since Tucson. And I found out that I need a knee replacement now. <laughs> You know, life just can't get any better right now. <laughs> Valerie has a good comment. What does Valerie say? Everyone's selling their Tucson treasures, so maybe just wait to release it. You know, Valerie, that's what I was thinking, too. I thought, you know, there's been an onslaught of new stuff uh, being shown. So I thought, well, maybe it's not going to be so bad. So I just told Tessa that I'm going tomorrow to pick them up. Come hell or high water, I'm getting in my car with my Nexus and my passport. And I'm going to drive all the way down and get it. But she's going to have to do some serious uh, picture taking next week. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just keep saying it. it's a good thing I have a sense of humor. So, and a little mom update, because I do get lots of people asking about mom. Because if you don't know, my mom's um, got uh, stage three breast cancer right now. She's doing really well. Um, she's finished her radiation and then they put her on some new drug that was supposed to give her extra life. My mom's 85. Not that she doesn't want extra life because she does, but she was not feeling very well while she was on that medication and it put her back into almost like, um, menopause and, um, she was really feeling sick. And so she, she did two weeks on it and then she said, to hell with this and she <laughs> stopped taking it. And, uh, you know, so anyway, so, um, we're lucky that her uh, first cousin is a radiologist and that's who my mom sees. She's the breast screening radiologist in Vancouver, which is great. So Auntie Linda um, get, does all my mom's, um, I don't know, like not diagnostic stuff, but maybe, I don't know what she does. But anyway, she's, she's like the head of the radiology in breast screening. So we're lucky in that respect because my uh, Auntie Linda takes very good care of my mom. And she agreed that my mom does not teach, need to stay on that. And so all's good. So hubby's on the mend. He's bored out of his face. He's still in a lot of pain, uh, but he's doing great. And mom is doing much better. So thank you to everybody that um, sends out little notes of, um, you know, encouragement and prayers and all those things. They are very well received. And I read them all to Rob and he just thinks that's so lovely that you all care enough to make comments like that to him. So nice, isn't it? I love, I love you guys. Okay. Everybody's great. Yeah. Okay. Um, one other thing that I'm going to ask. So this is, I know everybody's going to pop on and say, well, I will, I will, I will. Because whenever I do this, I know what happens. If you live locally in the Fraser Valley area, and only people that live here will know what that is. If you live in the Fraser Valley area and you are looking for a very part-time job, maybe two days a week, 
I need to hire somebody. It is much uh, better suited for somebody that doesn't have children in that um, one. That's what Savannah has issues with is because Grace is in kindergarten and they uh, go to school less than they have time off or the other way around, whatever, right? Like they go to, they don't go to school very it's, often. It's, it's really. crazy how much time and pro D days and spring breaks and Christmas breaks. I love spending the time with her, but it's, it's hard. And I'm lucky that I have a mother-in-law who's okay with, sort of okay with me not coming to work yeah. <laughs> but it's frustrating for her and it's frustrating for me too because i don't like not being reliable on all the days that i say i work thanks deb um i we will have a look at and see if we can um send you what you're i'm just sort of trying to re quickly read your thing but we'll look back at the um the uh comments so thank you um oh thank you very much if you send that to me that's great yeah, so if anybody's looking for a very part-time job, it is much better suited to somebody who can lift and who doesn't have a problem standing on concrete. We and do can drive. And can drive because I live <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Um, and we have nothing around us. There's no stores or gas stations or anything here. So um, you must be able to drive to get here. And it's just part-time, like maybe two days a week, possibly Monday and Tuesday or Monday and Thursday or something like that. Um, so if you're looking for a job or you know somebody that is uh, reliable and responsible and just wants a really small part-time job, um, shoot me an email at kelly at kelly's bee boutique because uh, I need to hire somebody. And um, it's much easier if somebody knows a little bit of beating uh, just because, you know, Savannah didn't really know anything. She's been, you know, I dumped her head first into it and she's figuring it out really well. Yeah. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> it Yes, it was a lot. I feel like I've like just got to the place where I don't need to check every single item on my phone when I'm picking an order. Yeah, well, we have over get it now. <laughs> 9,000 items in the store. So mm -hmm. it's a lot. So Ooh, yes, Kim, you know. Okay, good. Yeah, please send it along, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, what are we going to do now? Should we do the markdowns or should we do this funny thing here? Um, let's do that while we do a giveaway. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do a giveaway. So the first giveaway that we're going to do is for um, this pair of earrings. I'm in a giveaway kind of mood because I'm asking you guys for favors. So I'm going to do something nice. So I made these uh, a few weeks ago. i got to go that way. Uh, <laughs> they're really pretty wood um, and uh, tear cast button earrings that I uh, put inside there. Um, so we're going to give those away. So type in the word grace, G-R-A-C-E. Do you want to put that up on the ticker thing? Grace. We'll just put that up. Um, grace. And then you can go back to comments so I can see comments. Okay. We have to figure out all these things to do. <laughs> um, so type in the word grace and you can be entered for, or you will be entered for, um, a chance to win those so uh, you don't have to do any hashtags or anything just type that simple word with nothing else in there mm -hmm. so now it's kind of it's going to be kind of funny because uh when i go to my camera that's facing down for the demo you're going to see that it says kelly the barrel knot queen <laughs> um we don't have that um i don't have that you know, so you can see it right now, but it will say Kelly the Barrel Knot Queen because I am called that all the time. So I thought that it was only appropriate that the Barrel Knot Queen should have a crown. Is that not spectacular? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a delay, thank goodness. Yes. But isn't that hilarious? Mm. <laughs> I I thought, you know, I have to have a crown. It's very heavy and I don't have the right kind of hair. But the barrel is very nice. Does it? <laughs> the barrel knot queen is bedecked. Look at all those jewels in there. It was $29.99 on Amazon. Don't tell people. <laughs> <laughs> it was $29.99 thousand yeah. dollars on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am royalty, so you you know I will do the wave. And I might, when, if I meet you in public, you must bow and scrape for me now. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. I said that I should get like a little princess crown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you name a necklace for me? Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> so it's heavy. I wouldn't want to wear one of these. Can you imagine being royalty and having to wear a heavy? And theirs are really heavy. But anyway, I'm not going to wear it a lot. Just every day. <laughs> 
You're just going to walk home without everything. <laughs> <laughs> he says you're real notness. <laughs> or is that real naughtiness? <laughs> Now the part of this thing, it gets stuck in my hair and it gives me bad hair, but it's kind of cute. Eh? And we're going to put it on uh, jean Vieve back there. I just had it around her neck. Mm -hmm. So um, if you see it like hanging there, well, you can't see it today, Sorry. but you know, it'll be, it'll be on, on jean Vieve back there, our silly mannequin. So uh, yes, all the other beaters do call me that, don't they? So that's why I thought, you know, I have to, I, I sent it to, uh, to uh, at, what's your, know your name, Savannah. but no. Savannah. Jeez. That's me. I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> you. I yeah. You. <laughs> send that to that person. I sent her this and I said, should I do this? She goes, well, I'd be really disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> so. Grace has not seen the crown. So Valerie just asked if Grace has seen the crown. Oh, no, she hasn't. She hasn't. But no. she was here and she packed that order. And yes. so many lovely comments. She was like, like beaming all day she's like called my mom and she's like grandma i packed an order today <laughs> yeah so if you don't know what we're talking about grace was here on saturday sunday, sunday. and oh, um, she was pretty <laughs> savannah was doing a little bit of shopping and i was busy working trying to get some orders done and so um, grace decided that she wanted to um work here and so she was sitting at one of the desks and she's like uh, and she was calling us Kelly and Savannah because she was working with us. She was and, the boss. And she was the boss. She's like, excuse me, Kelly, could you come over here and handle this order, please? And I'm like, well, excuse me, ma'am. I'm a little bit busy right now, but I will come over. So then I said to um, Savannah, let's give her one order. So we gave her one um, really simple order. It was like Vicky's order. Vicky's order. Yeah. I can't remember Vicky's last name. Marshall? Maybe? Something with an M. Yeah, I think it might have been Marshall. And um, so if you're on here, you'd get an order picked by Grace. So she had to like pick out six and six and then she put them in the bag and then she put them in the organza and then she put them in the bubble thing, which but she wanted to pop all the bubbles on the bubble. She's still going on about how you didn't give her a bag. <laughs> she, she was really upset. That was the, her favorite part. <laughs> and then she put it in the bubble mailer and then she put a little sticker on the back and then we put some tape on and then she waited. we waited. That and was then, very confusing for her because the three looks like an E. Yeah. So we could learning on your order forms we write the weight of it and then we take it over to another computer and put it in so she was trying to write 36 i think <laughs> and she was writing like yes e e <laughs> <laughs> she was trying so hard and then so um savannah popped that on our social media and so many beautiful comments and it just did you read them to her oh yeah she was just like she thought it was so cool i said over 700 people liked this post uh. like, i'm famous <laughs> Yeah, she can be very shy mm -hmm. and um i wouldn't say that she has the strongest self-confidence no not, but it not, definitely did give her a boost. give her a little bit so thank you everybody yeah. for um all your beautiful comments for her and everything it really does you know it was just is cute it was just so cute yeah i love it i love that kind of stuff she, was mad so. she had to go to school today and not come to work yeah. she, she works here now you know Mom. yeah i work with you now. <laughs> So we have to have fun around here. Uh, Grace is five. Yes. She just started kindergarten this year. Yeah. She's very, very sweet. So I went to, last week, I went to Grandparents Day on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So on Grandparents Day, I got, a, it's actually sitting over there and it's like a little thing that I got to wear for grandparents and they did, they sang a little song and, and it's very nice. She goes to a, um, a, a Christian school. Christian private school. Yeah. yeah. Christian private school. Um, very small. Yeah. Oh, hey, speaking of, <laughs> we should go press that. So that uh, we yeah. know who won. <laughs> we'll see who won. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they do everything very, very nicely at this private school. It's lovely. So. Did it did it not work? Uh, it says we have 38 entries. OK, so if you. There's probably more than that. So if you didn't, uh, you might want to type in, type the name Grace in again. If you didn't, this is to win a pair of earrings just because sometimes this thing is glitchy yeah. and maybe we should have had it up collecting. So just I if guess. you want to win the pair of earrings, we'll give you another one more minute. Just type in the name Grace, just G-R-A-C-E, and uh, you can have an opportunity to win these earrings because that's probably going to go way up now. Yeah. So, 45. yeah, because I mean, we've got 150 people. So if anybody's just popped on, type in the word Grace and we will see if you can win a pair of earrings. Mm -hmm. I'll be sending those out as soon as I can get them in a bag. So I don't see now everybody's putting yeah. it in again. So thank you. It's weird. It's a, it's a really nice feature that uh, StreamYard has, but sometimes it doesn't work 
the way that we wanted. I think we had to. Maybe it's our issue. I think you have to show. start collecting the names right away or something. Yeah. Like you have to press that button. Yeah. Or something. We'll try with the next. One. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're just kind of figuring things out, right? Like there's all of these new. Every time we do this, there's something new. Like today, there was something something new that I um. Uh, oh, we should take off. Oh well, we've got Can't. we've got my hand in there. I know. I don't know how you're running. Uh, it's okay. There's nothing bad in <laughs> okay, there. Okay, we're at seventy-eight. All we're right. At Eighty. All right. Hey, Kirsten, you're not late. It's okay. You're here now. That's the main thing. Seventy-nine. All right. Okay. We'll just give everybody a couple more seconds because I see a few more people popping it in there. But all right, let's press that button and let's see who won these pair of this pair of earrings. And if you don't see your name, it doesn't mean it didn't get in there. It just, you know, it's the way that it works. So how do you say your name? Is it Twila? Is it Twila or Twilia? Because it's I-L-I-A. Well, congratulations. You won the, a pair of earrings. So if you want to send me um, an email, I think, yeah, thank you. She's taking a picture to make sure we know who won. Um, send me an email at Kelly at Kelly's Bead Boutique. Make sure you spell I will mail you off your pair of earrings. So if you can, how do we put this one back? So just go back to that and solo layout. There we go. All right. Yeah, congrats. It's always fun to do some giveaways. And I have another giveaway that I'm going to do at the end, too. So we will um, do that one after. So we've got a few things that we wanted to show you. And then I will do my demo. So um, if you can switch me down to this camera, we'll make sure this this is um, uh, solo. Over. Okay. Twist it. Oh, what in the heck? Towards me. That way? Yeah. Sorry, still, you know, <laughs> trying to figure stuff out. Yeah. All right, so now you see how it says the uh, Kelly, the barrel knot queen in there? <laughs> <laughs> I got to move kind of in front of here, Savannah, just while we're in doing that. Okay, so one of the things that we um, added to our website um, is our leather cord end um, deal. So how much is this? Seven ninety nine, I think. No, thirteen ninety nine. I think something like that. So in the clearance section, you will see these um, leather cord ends, and we—I don't know. I'll get. I should have got some managed to look it up so we know exactly what we're telling you. Um, everyone will be different. So when we pull off leather, sometimes we pull off the wrong color, or you know, we'll. Um, Pull it, yeah, let's pull it and then go, oh gosh, that's the wrong thing. So we just throw them all in the big bin. And so you'll get everything. Like one lady ordered one this morning and she got bling leather and flat purple leather. This one has some five millimeter leather with a hole punched in it. So you could use it for all kinds of things. So it's $13.99. And in here you get, um, I, you get, let's see, what did I say? I think there's, I don't know. It did have a, a weight in there before but i can't read it because i can't see <laughs> anyway that you do you get there is like a couple ounces or something like that of leather you can see you get quite a bit of leather see so it, it says that you save over 50 percent of um the original price oh yeah you get one ounce of all different sizes so you'll get um leather and uh, um vegan suede and you know there's like there's a little piece of vegan suede and everything's over at least 12 inches except for the flat leather we'll just kind of throw in whatever that is so so we have some of those available. And right now we have 11 left. 11 left. So that's a really good way um, of getting like little bits and bobs. And sometimes there's like pieces that are two and three meters in there. Yeah. And the project that I'm doing today will work perfectly with this. So it's good for practice too. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not super expensive. Mm -hmm. So we have that. And then, oh, you've bought a few of them, Valerie. That's good. Okay. So I've put a few new things, not new things, just I've moved some things over to the um, uh, clearance page because we need to make room for the uh, stuff from Tucson whenever I manage to get it. So these are some six millimeter AB coated rose quartz. So they've taken rose quartz and just added a little bit of an AB finish on them so that they get that little bit of a, a shimmer on there. Super, super pretty. And this one was... That was regularly $17.99 and they're on for $5.99. What so size are they? These are six millimeter. 
So it's a really good deal. And we have 38 of those and they are ice cold right now. <laughs> They're so cold. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to give you a code because the codes don't work when I, if I, if you type them in, they don't work in the clearance section half the time. So just pop over to the clearance section and you can see those. And then I also have, just walk you out. So loud. <laughs> yeah, so we have these um, matte green Z beads. So that's uh, D Z I. And these are a six millimeter. And this is one of my favorite beads. And I still don't understand why they uh, didn't really sell because these are just beautiful. They've got greens and browns and taupes and pumpkin and all sorts of beautiful colors. And they were regularly $29.99, and these are on for $9.99. And we have 20 strands of those. So those are over in the clearance section. Aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. I just love that. So if you're looking for something, um, often people are looking for something that um, men like. Yeah. And this is perfect. This one here is an 8 millimeter, exact same kind of bead. And this one was regularly $33.99, and this is now on for $10.99. And I believe we have... I can't read that. My own writing, 17, 17 of them. So this one, if you're looking for something for men, this is perfect because it's got, you know, nice dark browns and sort of bluey greens and whites and all sorts of really nice stuff. Yeah, so, Wendy, you're right. They are really beautiful in person. Yeah, they're they're very nice. I just, I guess the pictures maybe weren't so great because they're older pictures. Um, so, but there you go. So you can get them on sale now. So that's what we have on sale. Um, okay. So that's all that. I'm just going to have a little drink of my water and then I'm going to make my little project for the day. Oh, did you get some of those, Wendy? That's good. Yeah, I guess you can take off that thing. All right. <laughs> Maybe you just put up the Kelly's Bead Boutique banner. Just so, oh no, you don't need anything right now. That's okay. All right. So I am going to be making the most ridiculously simple project ever. I'm just going to move this back a bit. Um, I was trying to come up with something super simple today and that's exactly what I got. So we're going to be using some one millimeter leather and I have about 20 inches of that. This will not be a kit, but I will put up all of the parts that I used so that you can make your own. And this is a good little stash buster. The only thing you might need is one of these um, little tubes. So we have these tubes there. Um, this is not a barrel knot tube. This is a smaller tube that can accommodate about up to 1.5 millimeter leather and they are like about uh, 40 centimeters long I think I can't I can't, no 40 I don't know whatever they're not <laughs> I'm no good with the size of things anyway so we're going to be using these and they come in three colors they come in um, bright gold bright silver and antique bronze we're also going to be using I just added these to the website and these are the silicone sliders, but these are a tube style. So I thought, you know, I don't think you've ever seen me use those. The round ones would work too, though. Yeah, the round ones work fine. So either one, you're going to use SOC2 because we're only going to be putting two strands of one millimeter in there. So you don't want to use the SOC4. It would be um, way too um, big. And I'm going to be... Just to add a little bit of adornment, I am going to be adding one of these little gold charms, but you could totally make this without a charm. Oh, I already had one out. Look at me. You have everything. <laughs> I have everything out. I'm really like just, I swear, all of this stuff that's going on, it has taken my brain cells, which were already challenged and making them even more challenged. So these little beads are, are 930449. Um, from Tierra Cast. They're a really nice large hole, small spacer bead. And then on this one, you only need two six aught seed beads. So I just happen to have these right here. So we're using those pretty uh, blue AB. They're like a turquoise AB. And then I have a larger jump ring. And also for tools, I'm going to be using a barrel knot tube because like it says on the thing, I'm the barrel knot queen, right? <laughs> And then we are also going to be using at the end a pair of cutters and a pair of bent chain nose pliers and our regular pliers. So this could not get any easier, I swear. So we're going to take our little tube and pop it through there. So this is one millimeter and you can see it just barely fits in there. So that's about um, as big as you can go. I sometimes can get 1.5. 
So what I'm going to do is marry up the two ends and then kind of pull that down so it's in the middle. And that doesn't have to be exact, but I um, am going to sort of mark that with my thumbnail, as it were. And I'm going to pop on one of those beads and one of our seed beads and then another one of those. Okay, so now we've got that happening. So I just kind of want to make sure that I don't move this along too much. So I'm going to put my thumb where I want the barrel knot to go and I'm going to start making some barrel knots. So I'm just going to go around three times. So I'm going to go around like that. And then I just always hold on to that little tube and then put that through to the back and then tighten that up. So I want to push this knot down to, sorry, that got all moved around. There's probably a much better way to do things, but you know, my brain cells are not firing on all channels these days. <laughs> They're not braining today. No, they're not braining very much at all. I don't know. I've just been so dang tired. Uh, just I have to do literally everything around the house. My poor hubs can't do a single thing to help out. Uh, not he would rather be helping. And then we're doing our renovation too, which is just like bah. So it's a lot. So that's what we've got. That's my worst barrel knot I've ever made. But I'm you know struggling today. So we're just gonna just roll with it. And then on the other side, I'm going to repeat. I'm going to put the little spacer on and one of the seed beads. So this is great if you've just got like a couple of random seed beads. Now, the reason that also that I made this is because little is in. Everybody likes, well, not everybody. A lot of people like really tiny and dainty right now. And so um, this is really great with the younger crowd, I think. What roll, you... Kelly, roll. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So there's my three little wraps. I'm rolling somewhere. I don't know where. I've been going to bed at 8.30 at night. That's how tired I am because I'm having to cook, you know, everything, do all the, you know, everything. Well, plus we've added in like a new operating system. And oh, right. Yeah. You want to tell them about that? Yes. Yeah, so we're using a new uh, email operating system and uh, it's going to help us send out emails that really are specific to you. So if you enjoy shopping for seed beads you're going to see more things like that keep talking is there something on my face yeah. oh sorry <laughs> and uh yeah so if you um would like to um make sure that you get those make sure you subscribe to the emails and you'll also get occasionally a coupon or two yeah so it's a it's a really great system it's been um another thing that has drained my brain so savannah had to learn how to use it because it was hurting my head <laughs> but, I like that stuff too. Though. But it's more targeted emails, so you'll see all kinds of fun things. So I think you guys will really like it. So that's what we're working with so far. This would also make a really cute necklace like that. I'm just gonna say that's a cute. Necklace. Yeah, like you, you totally could use that as a necklace. But um, all I'm gonna do is take one end and put it through my um, barrel silicone. And again, those round ones would work too. If you can't get these through, what you can do is take the very end and cut it on a real sharp angle and that sometimes will help you get it in there and when i was making the one this morning it went in super easy but of course because i'm doing this live it doesn't go in right <laughs> and uh so the other thing that i like to keep on hand is a pair of these tweezers and we are almost sold out of them right now and they don't have any more for a bit so i'm like oh my gosh what are we going to do so not advertise them <laughs> yeah i guess so hopefully that went in it did look at that so i'm just going to grab my pair of pliers and pull on the end of that there we go so what i want to try to do now is make sure that this is kind of sitting in the middle and then the way that i measure it let me just get rid of some of this mess here the way that i measure it is i want to make sure i gotta make that smaller so I love these little slider silicone thingies. Um, if you ever can't find them on my website, just go into the search bar and type in silicone and you'll get the different sizes. Okay, so I want to make sure that this will fit over my hand. And that's how I know where to put my knots. But I'm not going to make this one this big because I have a big hand. So that's where it would sit. And then I would make my knots. But I'm going to probably give this one away. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So that's about what we're going to do. And then I'm just going to take my little barrel knot tube or you can do anything like whatever you want to do to finish it off on the end. 
So I'm just going to go twice and pop that in the end. And then just make like a little knot there. So it's kind of like a little mini barrel knot. You can even just do a, you know, anything you want. You could put a seed bead on there, whatever, you know, tickles your fancy. We just want to make sure that that is sort of sticking in the center. So I want to make sure that that's aligned. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. And just run that through the end of my tube. So again, I was using 20, about 20 inches of one millimeter leather, which is plenty of leather. It's always easier to have a little bit more leather when you're making barrel knots because the first one this morning, I only cut 17 inches. And I was like, oh goodness, that was a little bit difficult to tie. So then what I'm going to do, so you could put, you know, any kind of embellishment, but I just wanted to keep it super simple. So I'm just going to trim those off. Now I would probably put a little dab of glue right there to hold those because that's going to take sort of the most punishment. So there would be a cute little bracelet just like that. But on the one that I made this morning, I jazzed it up just a little bit. And all I did was take a six millimeter 18 gauge jump ring. And these are on our website too. Open that up. And I just use this little baby heart because again, we're going with small uh, because the small dainty things are just, that is what everybody's wanting right now. So just do that up. And I would just want to be careful that I'm not scratching that tube. Now you don't even have to put anything on, but I just thought it looked kind of cute with the, with a little heart on there. So there we go. There's our little project today. Super cute, huh? That would be really, really easy to make. And then here's one that I was actually wearing. I, um, I made this one this morning for my, my little sample for what I was going to make today. And this is with the antique uh, bronze. And then this is the chartreuse green uh, Picasso. So super simple. Do you guys like that? You could really do it with anything though. Like you could even put like a semi-precious stone. You could do a seed bead. You could do anything. This is just kind of one of those, you know, things. It's like an idea. That's all, you know, a lot of this sort of stuff that I do on Wednesdays is just to help you um, get ideas of things that you can make. So this would cost hardly anything to make and uh, super cute. And it would be a really great thing to add if you're doing um, craft fairs, that sort of thing. It would be a really great little thing to add to your repertoire because you could customize it. And you don't have to use these barrel knot things. You could um, use crimp pins and a clasp of some sort if you wanted. This is just kind of nice but because you can help with the sizing so much, um, you know, so you can make them to fit kind of the average hand and then anybody could size it because when you put it on um, they can they just can you know make that smaller or they can run it right to the end to make it bigger so it's good in that way uh, that you don't have to have specific sizing you could also put little crimp hands in a magnet or you know all sorts of things but there we go so let's see the other giveaway we're going to do I know you guys are going to probably love this one so it is specific in its sizing but if it doesn't fit you it might fit somebody else so this is one of the, the bracelets that I made for our check glass re, um, revamp or whatever I called it. And this is the beautiful grape uh, color. So um, if you want to type in the word spring, because we need spring so bad here, it is cold and snowing and icy and ick, and we're sick of it. We all want spring. So type in the word spring and you could win this. And if it doesn't fit you, then you can maybe uh, sell it or give it to somebody or whatever you want. But that's what you could win if you type in the word spring. So those are our giveaways today. So you wanna isolate the, can you put that up on the? Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to do it over there, right? Uh, oh, don't do that. You can't do it on here. We have to do it over there, remember? Yeah. That's why, um, oops, you okay? <laughs> yeah that's why we have to have the computer because we can't we can't do it on the we're using an ipad uh for my front facing thing so um i'm just gonna go on there so you can see me um there we go okay so we're just waiting for yeah you just it just kick that so this needs to be pulled back <laughs> Sven almost took a header. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that it has both <clears throat> things on there, both cameras. We'll have to figure that out. Well, we so you can. Yeah, now I'm just cut out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, can, you can even take. 
You can even take this one, remove. to stream yeah that's what it is probably now can you hear us <laughs> can anyone hear us yeah oh goodness this is always so frustrating okay oh we're back okay, okay so yeah that's because, what it was. yeah it was because we went up okay so we're learning we're learning about all the little i'm just going to move this yeah. um we're learning about all the things that make this work we're literally running three computers to make this all work so thank you for um sticking around for a few minutes um and congratulations gail i will send off your um bracelet i i know i do have your information so i will send that out to you so congrats on that so um yeah who's who's high tech not us <laughs> i mean savannah is like you know years ahead of me on all that kind of stuff but it can be one little thing that um just doesn't work and then you know who the heck knows so anyway I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around. So that is pretty much all we have for today. We had lots of lots of fun, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this little bracelet. I will make sure to put a picture. Oh, that doesn't look so good. You got two of them. I will make sure to put a. I have to do everything backwards. I, my brain doesn't work that way. Um, I'll make sure to put a picture up with all the parts in it in the um, description. And so if you're wanting to um, make your own and you're looking for some of these things, you will be able to find them. Okay. So we do need Grace's help. Uh, yeah, I think we probably do. Cause she probably could do, you know, this in she two seconds. She knows how to do things that I don't know how to do on electronics. And it scares me because she's five. Did she know how to use a, uh, like a, like get onto YouTube when she was two or something? Yeah. Cause I know Willow did. <laughs> she like <laughs> knew how to open my iPhone and then would go into music and would listen to music. And she was like two and a half. Oh, and it so, scared me. They're so cute when they're little like that. And they can just, uh, we give Willow the, her, our phone every once in a while. And she's like, you know, even from the time she was just like a toddler, yeah. she was be booping along. I'm like, how do you know how to do that? I can't yeah. figure it out. And she, I think it's because they don't have any fear. <laughs> and we always do. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you, everybody. I appreciate all the, the prayers. Rob's doing, he's doing great. So he's just, you know uncomfortable and tired of all of this so we go see the doctor on tuesday and hopefully uh the doctor has you know 
a good report that things are going the way that we're supposed to, right? So um, before we go, someone oh, somebody had a question. Sent you and Rob a package. <laughs> oh, we can't go back oh. to the camp. We'll have to go look back. Yeah. Um, I actually just got a notification from my um, mailbox, um, local mailbox here, that there was a package there for me. So um, whoever sent something to me. Susan, I think. Susan, thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Whatever's in there, I can't wait to go look now. <laughs> I have to get down there and pick it up. So, all right. So everybody go off and uh, make some jewelry today and have some fun. And if you live in a um, place where there's some sun, can you put that in a box and send it to us, please? Because <laughs> we need some sun. We're, mm -hmm. We are very tired of this weather. And if you're so. local. Send us an email yes. if you want to work. If you didn't hear from before, if you are a local person that lives in the Fraser Valley area um, and you're looking for a part-time job, best suited for somebody not with children in school. Who drives. Um, who drives and can lift boxes and stand on concrete. Um, send me, uh, shoot me off an email uh, because we are looking to hire somebody very part-time. It's just a real part-time little job. Um, it's actually a perfect for somebody um, that, like, you know, that's old like me and is maybe retired and wanting to do something to get out of the house so you don't we kill your husband. potential employees old. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lori that works here, we're exactly the same age. We always say we're old. <laughs> so You are old. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I don't know my staff, Lori says this morning, you know, you really do look a little better when you wear some makeup because yesterday <laughs> I looked bad. What a backhand. I know, I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I resemble that remark. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks again for joining us and we will see you um, next Wednesday. And I am going to try again this weekend to film something to put on my YouTube channel. I have not put out anything new in a while. I've been refurbishing some <laughs> old content, trying to um, get something out there for you. But, uh, you know, the just the planets are not aligning these days. So... I'm doing my very best and keep watching. We will get that Tucson stuff to you eventually. And congrats to the people that won a gift today. Make sure you drop me a note and we will get your prizes to you. Okay. So stay safe out there. Cause I know there's storms going everywhere and it may affect your shipments. So if you've placed an order, please uh, be patient because the storms may affect it, but we will see you again next Wednesday. All right. Take Bye -bye. care, everybody. Bye.